This is Genesis 1-3, through 3, The Creation and the Fall. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the night day, and the darkness he called night. There was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, Let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the expanse, and separated the waters that were under the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse. And it was so. And God called the expanse heaven. And there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees, bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind on the earth. And it was so. The earth brought forth a vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which there is their seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night. And let them be signs for let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, and the stars. And God set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. So God created the great sea creatures, and every living creature that moves which, with which the waters swarm according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth a living creatures according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds, and the livestock according to their kinds, and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image. After all likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the boards of the heaven, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the boards of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And every beast of the earth, and every board of the heavens, and everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has a breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw, it, saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the hosts of them, and on the seventh day God finished his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it God rested from his work that he had done, God rested from all his work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created, and the day that Yahweh God made the earth and the heavens. When no bush on the field was yet in the land, and no small plant of the field had yet sprung up, for Yahweh God had not caused it to rain on the land, and there was no man to walk the ground, and a mist was going up from the land, it was watering the whole face of the ground. 
Then Yahweh God formed man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. And Yahweh God planted God in an Eden, and the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground Yahweh God made to spring up every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life was in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river flowed out of Eden to water the garden, and there it divided became four rivers. The name of the force is a Pishon. It is the one that flowed around the whole land of Havala, where there is gold. And the gold of the land is good. Bedlam and onyx stone are there. The name of the second river is a Gahan. It is the one that flowed around the whole land of Cush. And the name of the third river is the Tigris, which flows east of Assyria. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. Yahweh God took the man and put him in the garden to eat and to walk it and keep it. And Yahweh God commanded the man, saying, You may surely eat of every tree in the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Then Yahweh God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper, fit for him. Now out of the ground Yahweh God had formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens, and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all the livestock and to the boards of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper fit for him. So Yahweh God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And while he slept, he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that Yahweh God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, this at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that Yahweh God had made. He said to the woman, did God actually say you shall not eat of any of the trees in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden. Neither shall you touch it lest you die. <laughs> but the serpent said to the woman, You shall not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. And they heard the sound of Yahweh God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves in the presence of Yahweh God among the trees of the garden. But Yahweh God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to me to be with me, she gave me fruit of the tree, and I ate it. Then Yahweh God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. Yahweh God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, course out of you above all livestock, and above all feasts of the field, and on your belly you should go, and dust you shall eat in all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman. And between your offspring and her offspring, he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain and childbearing, and pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be contrary to your husband, but he will shall rule over you. And Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you should not eat of it. Course it is to the ground because of you. 
and pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it will bring forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you be torn to the ground, for out of it you are taken, for you are dust, and the dust you shall be torn. Man called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. And Yahweh God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skins clothed and clothed them. Then Yahweh God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Now, lest he reach out his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore Yahweh God sent him out of the garden of Eden, and awoke the ground from which he was taken. He drove out the man, and at the east of the garden of Eden, he placed a cherubim and a flaming sword that torn every way to guard the way to the tree of life.